So it's been a while since I actually made a video, and I'm actually going to let you guys know why, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcha. If it's your first time here and you love gaming or Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So today I wanted to give you guys a little insight on why I haven't been making any videos for the last few weeks, and yes, it's felt like a very long time. I said I would let you guys know, so I'm gonna do just that. Now I might say a lot of jargon that a lot of you might not even know what I'm talking about, but I'll sum everything up for you guys towards the end. Also, enjoy the gameplay as well. So, everything pretty much came down to my PC. I have two Samsung 960 Pro NVMe SSDs in RAID 0, which is on my X399 MSI Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard. I tried to update the firmware of both SSDs, but for some reason, the Samsung program that allows you to update firmware does not support RAID. But I looked for other ways around this and I couldn't find any. So what I tried to do was I tried to force the firmware update individually, which in the end was a huge mistake. After my PC said that the firmware was being updated and needed to restart, I allowed it to restart, but then I kept going into the ultimate and the famous blue screen of death loop. And it always came right before the Windows login. Now, I have been in the IT field for quite some time, and I am smart enough to know to pretty much back everything up, but this is the first time I ever encountered this very issue. I researched the error online, and many people had similar issues with the same error code. Don't ask me what the error code was, because I don't remember anymore. But every fix that they did pretty much didn't work for my issue. The blue screen of death loop pretty much just keep going and going and going. I tried doing a system restore and I wasn't allowed to do it because I got errors. I tried using a system image and I still got errors. For hours and hours, I tried to troubleshoot the issue and I couldn't figure it out. I even went into the BIOS, broke the RAID into separate drives, and I got a little bit farther with the system image process, but then in the end, I still came back to getting errors. Eventually, I was like, F this, and I wiped both drives installed Windows 10 Pro on one of the SSDs, downloaded the Samsung firmware update software, updated each SSD individually, restarted, then I went back into the BIOS and recreated the RAID 0 and installed Windows 10 Pro again, which pretty much in short, I messed up my PC. Nothing I did fixed it, so I wiped the entire thing and started fresh. Unfortunately, everything was gone. Programs, documents, software, games, etc. Everything. So, I had to download everything all over again. And with this, I had to make new banners, templates, logos, etc. And, and it sucked. And I had to do all of that for my YouTube channel. And the whole time I was thinking to myself, why didn't I save any of my files on a separate USB? A disk? or even in an external hard drive. Oh yeah, that's because the system image was supposed to do all of that. Not gonna lie, I was very discouraged for a few days before I decided to rebuild everything. This time, I'll be smarter and save all of my important files on a USB as well as make a system image on an external hard drive again. Please, learn from my mistake because it sucks having to start all over from scratch when you don't plan on doing so. Either way, I'm back, and I'm not going anywhere. However, bear with me while I change my video layouts a little bit. I wanna see what you guys do and do not like, so for the first week, it's pretty much experimentation time. And I do have more gaming and Destiny 2 videos coming soon for you guys, so stay tuned. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.